Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now it's your girl Oluwa Kemi at Desola. And if you're seeing this face for the very first time, please do do right by me by clicking on that subscribe button right now and give this video a thumbs up. And of course you can join the conversation by leaving a comment in the comment section. So today I'm going to be gisting with you guys. I'm going to be telling you guys about the superstitions that we um, we Nigerians, we Africans, we grew up listening to, we grew up hearing in our various homes. So um, let's get right into the video. So guys, like I said, we're going to be talking about superstitions that we grew up believing. Let me even say believing because from my own from my own perspective, I literally believed almost every superstition because as a kid there was this fear in me that oh um because people telling me are older so they must have had the experience one way or the other so I grew up believing it. So the very first superstition that I grew up hearing is that if you lose a tooth and you you don't um like you put the tooth in your palm then you pick seven stones with the tooth and you throw it on top of the roof that if you don't do that your teeth your tooth will your tooth will never grow fam how stupid were we to even believe that like so imagine every time you lose a tooth you have to pick seven stones with the tooth then throw it at the like does that even make sense but then we were young and you wouldn't want to grow up with like some of your teeth missing would you so well whenever you lose a tooth you just have to like pick seven stones and throw it on top, on top of the roof of your house so that lizard would not pick it or something like god it was just so stupid um okay the second the second superstition is that uh if you eat purple papaya if you eat the the upper part that is the, the edge the part that attaches to the tree if you eat that head you're going to be barren oh, shit. god it's just purple it is just purple how how naive were we to believe that so whenever whenever we're eating purple you know you have to cut off that part because who wants to be barren you don't want to be barren so you have to cut that part off but gosh we were so nice i wouldn't say stupid we were just we we're just being kids you know um another another superstition that we grew up believing was that there is this bird there is this bird there is this bird it's white it's pure white very thin legs um it, we call it leke leke we call it leke leke i will try and find out the english name and i'm going to put it somewhere on the screen but this bird they fly in like groups they fly in groups like 10 20 so we're meant to believe that um if you if you see those birds flying and you like make your hand like this and you start singing leke leke ba mi leke e yada ba ba mi leke that they are going to poop no no listen like <laughs> that those birds are going to poop all the way from the sky and the poop is going to like drop on your nail and it's going to leave like this white um mark on your nails fam i always do this whenever i see those birds and you know i ask people that already have that white sign on their nails like well, how come i keep doing this thing and i don't get this white sign they were like i'm not the chosen one and you know i would be so sad that oh my god the birds don't don't love me the birds they didn't choose me i like whenever i just see these birds i just drop whatever i'm doing and i'm going leke 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 give me one finger leke leke what the heck was that <laughs> like our kids wanted to be the chosen one so but like chosen one for what like did you even bother to ask like okay once you have the sign on your finger what what does that mean like what is that going to do to you another superstition that we grew up hearing was that if you drink gary and you and you eat mango afterwards you're going to get stomach pain and you'll die Whew. guys that is like the most stupid thing I have ever heard because why can't you I've, I've, I've done that like I don't even know what to say because it is just so so crazy 
crazy. What? How naive were we? Oh my goodness. So guys, um, another superstition I grew up hearing was that whenever it is raining and there's also like a bit of sunshine, that it means the lion, the king of the jungle, just had a baby. How, like, why, why didn't we even question these things? Like why did we not even bother to question these things? Because what does a lion have to do with sunshine and rain? Oh my goodness like okay a lion gave birth so what does that have to do with so they, they'll be like because the lion is the king of the jungle these that the, the. you know going back to thinking about some of these things I'm like I have to tell my kids some of these things just to just to put fear in them but then to what end because it does not even make sense and one, one other one this one this one now thinking about it it's literally bust my brain you know there are these rubber rubber um rubber rubber bands that um, we ladies use to pack our air it's always on um on the money racks yeah that rubber so whenever you put it th th there's this superstition that whenever you put it in your in your on your wrist and it's tight that it's going to suck your blood so did we even bother to ask ourselves that if this thing is sucking your blood where is it storing it like we never even bothered to ask all this and that one day once they just tell us we just be like oh really yes okay okay then we get scared then that fear that fear is there that oh you must not be because because you don't want to, you don't want to die bloodless now you don't want you don't want something to just drain all of your blood so you have to stop putting rubber bands on your wrist but gosh that is like the silliest thing ever but we believed it because we were kids we were just babies kids children <laughs> so we didn't have a choice because the others were talking the others were telling us what they've experienced and they have more experience because they are older so what, what else do we do we what other choice do we have than to believe them yeah and then there's this other superstition that i believe the adults that told kids this particular one they are just thieves they are they are thieves greedy 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 fellows they will tell you that once you're eating a snack or food or meat or something and it drops on the floor that the devil has eaten from it like you can't pick it and eat it because the devil has eaten from it and as a kid you know we have this fear of the devil like the devil is the bad guy and all of that so you won't want to eat with the devil now why would you want to eat something that the devil has already eaten i know now you wouldn't want to do that so when you now leave that thing on the floor and you go the person that told you that will now pick it up wash it or rinse it and eat it see all, all, all my family people all my older older people in my family that did that one for me don't worry I'm coming for all of you greedy people nonsense <laughs> like how okay will the devil come out from where from where from where is the devil going to come from to eat from my biscuits like ah no 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 you people did not even try that one was just pure wickedness so another superstition is that if you like if you're sucking an orange and you mistakenly swallow the seed or you're eating watermelon and you swallow the seed a whole watermelon or orange plant is going to grow in your stomach Whoosh. this one makes me tired because I, I, I honestly don't even know what to say because it doesn't even make sense so it, it like okay okay I'm not even going to bother myself about that one but I'm sure everybody know that sounds very very stupid <laughs> Then there is this one that I won't, I won't, I won't even lie, I won't even lie to you guys. This particular one, I did it, I practiced it like so many times, even though it never worked. But I had this faith that this was going to work for me one day because my mom is this very strict mom and you know whenever she goes to office, I would have done something that would make her beat me whenever she comes back. So I usually do this that okay, she, she, she forget that she should not like beat me or scold me or anything. So it goes like, um, if you want somebody to forget something, you should bring one lash from your left eye, one lash from your right eye, put it in your palm. <laughs> 
in your palm speak that thing you did that you want that person to forget speak it into the palm then rub the hand on your head so whenever I want my mom to forget that I did something bad and she's supposed to flog me I'll just go I broke I'll just go pa 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 I broke glass cup I don't want my mom to remember I don't want her to scold me I'll just say everything then rub it on my head guys <laughs> my mother will come and this beating eh this beating in fact Maybe if I hadn't done that thing, maybe the beating would not even be that much. The beating would, and in my head, I'd be like, but I did this thing. And then when you now tell somebody that, oh, you did that, then they'll tell you something like, you probably didn't say it loud enough, or you did. Like, they'll just find something to just cover up everything. Like, it doesn't even make sense. What has, what has lashes got to do with somebody's memories? God, ah. Okay, okay, so there is also there's also this very very dumb one. There's also this very dumb one that if you flog a male a male child with a broom that the child's penis is going to disappear. How 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 did we even come about that? What has broom got to do with a child's penis? What is going to make it disappear? Then when you now see somebody flogging a, a male child with a broom, then you'll be like, ah, don't let the penis disappear. Or don't use broom, don't use broom. Like, gosh, I can't even believe we believe. Ah, oh my God, that is like so funny. Then another one is that if you, you, you this coconut, um, coconut, if you, there, there's always water in it, that if you drink that water, you're going to become dull. Like academically, you're going to become dull. You're going, you you won't be brilliant. You see that one particularly. I don't even know what to say to it. I, I let's just leave it. Like let's just let's just leave it. <laughs> okay, so guys, there is this. Uh, there is also this stupid one. Like I think it's usually passed around in schools, especially especially if there is a teacher that you don't like. So there is this one that if you cut a small part of a broom and you put it in your armpit and a teacher flogs you, you're going to faint. And you know, of course, in a school, if a teacher flogs a student and the student faints, the teacher is automatically in trouble. So whenever a teacher you don't like wants to flog you, you just go and cut broom and put it. Guy, nobody faints. Nobody has ever fainted from that thing. I don't know even know who started who started that particular rubbish. Like, does it even make sense? How? how Oh my goodness so now the last two the last two that tops my table of all time the first one is that if as a girl as a girl this one um, this one um, is mostly passed around around uh, amongst females that as a girl if a guy touches you you're going to fall pregnant mm -hmm, you heard me right if it touches you like just maybe mistakenly touches your shoulder or something and they usually tell us this especially when we start our monthly period oh my goodness then everybody will start telling you no even when you get to school don't sit beside boys even when you when you're in church you stay far away from boys if any boy on the street touches you just talk so then whenever you're and a guy is like coming close you'll be like hey no 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 i don't want to i don't want to get pregnant you know you start avoiding boys like unnecessarily seriously we need to give pro we need to start giving proper sex educations and not that if a boy touches you you're going to fall pregnant like who, who in fact i'm angry who does that last but not the least is this one that in fact if you don't know this particular one you probably didn't grow up in nigeria or you've never been in nigeria and this one is that there was once a football match between india and india and india and nigeria and <laughs> you know they both us believe that indians are so diabolical to the extent that this match was 99-1 so they usually tell us that this football match went like um whenever the whenever the indians are with the ball the ball will be a normal football but once a nigeria a nigerian player tries to like get the ball the ball will turn to maybe a tiger or a stone or something and <clears throat> whenever the um indians are, are facing the nigerian the nigerian goal post 
and the ball is just coming and they make like a straight kick and the ball is just coming the ball is going to turn into a lion or a tiger and the goalkeeper is just going to run and the ball will enter the net and that's a goal how stupid were we to believe that then they they kept this up to you. the indians called 99 then the referee now made a decision that if the nigerian the nigerian players can manage to score at least one then it's going to cancel um 98 scores 98 goals from the indians so there is this keeper called um keeper refi refi i'm not sure but i think it's keeper refi so um it was a pen it was like a penalty penalty kick so when the indians now played that one penalty penalty kick um the ball now turned into a lion but this the, the goalkeeper was so determined that was like wanted to be a patriotic citizen of nigeria <laughs> And the ball turned into a lion, but the the, the um the keeper El Rufai, he didn't move. He caught the lion, and you know he got injured. I really want to know who started that story. I, I no like Nigerians, we are just so we are so somehow so somebody just sat down and thought about those things and fed it to everybody and this thing passed around around from generation to generation to no uh you people you are trying so guys um that is all i've got for you today i do not want this video to be like too 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 long so i'm gonna cut it short but you're going to do me a favor share with me in share with me in the comment section superstitions that you grew up believe in or you grew up hearing so please share with me in the comment section and i need to beg you guys you need to be very interactive with me so our channel can grow you know our target for the end of 2021 is 10,000 subscribers and trust me guys we are nowhere near that right now but i want you guys to engage with me in the comment section i want you to watch my ad so i can get paid as you know that we have been monetized already so you gotta watch my ad for me to get some money you know what i'm saying so guys that's all for today don't forget to give this video a thumbs up of course don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this video with everybody that you know don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video i love you bye